I'm doing the whole ugly butt thing. <laughs> like that thing. Oh my god, we're back again. If you know, you know, but if you don't know, my name is B and I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds. I just finished the seven day jump rope challenge and it just so happened that Chloe Ting and Brett Contreras released a booty challenge the very next day. So we just naturally fell into this. It kind of just feels like the universe was telling me you need to stop having such a square butt. I have the unfortunate syndrome of like my booty being very close in comparison to SpongeBob SquarePants because my love handles go out and then it goes down. My butt cheek, it's just, just square, very square. You know, aesthetically a round lifted booty is just something that I want. I know it's not popular that you have aesthetic goals for weight loss nowadays because I don't know why apparently, but like it's like shamed, but I do. I want to look good as well as like, be healthy you know what I mean so like I want to build a more shapely behind and I feel like that should be okay to say but yes okay so Chloe Ting we know her we love her Brett Contreras he's new to us I just learned that he invented um god what am I thinking of it's the one where you're like this and you like push up your hip hip thrusts he like invented hip thrusts so like I mean if you're inventing a whole ass no pun intended booty workout you're probably pretty legit so I'm very excited to do this program I'm looking forward to not having a cube butt it might take longer than a month I don't know the logistics of these things we'll see what happens so glad to see that it is an ab and arm workout today because the rest of me is sore but I'm not sore in the place that you would expect I was expecting to be sore like right here like the cheek region I'm like sore right up through here the back of my thigh which is very strange and it makes me <laughs> a little bit concerned about if I'm doing the exercises correctly I'm doing the whole ugly butt thing like at the top of my bridges and stuff and like at the top of the squat, like the whole, <laughs> like that thing. So I'm not quite sure why my cheeks aren't sore, but the back of my thighs are. Regardless, we need to tone up everything. So I guess if something is muscle sore, it's fine. <laughs> I just hurt all over. Literally everything sore. My arms, my abs, my thighs, my butt. Definitely my butt. That side booty workout, oh my god. 
it's been days and it's just somehow the soreness is intensifying. This might be too much information, but like when I go to the bathroom, I don't sit down, like there's no squatting motion. I just go directly from standing to like flopping over onto the toilet, which I doubt is good for neither me nor the toilet, but I can't help it. Like <laughs> just that gradual sitting down motion. I can't do it. It just hurts. <laughs> It hurts Janice. But you know what? I will say one thing. Out of everything that I've tried so far, all the challenges that I've done, this so far has been like the most enjoyable because I feel like I'm gonna get the most results from it. And it feels like very challenging. However, it feels doable. Oh, you've got to be f***ing kidding me. <laughs> hey, get these demons, I've been dreaming dog. because we have another Chloe Ting challenge under our belt. And I'm even more excited because now we can get into the results. So you guys know the deal. This morning I stepped on the scale, I took pictures, I measured, all of that good stuff. And now we're gonna get into the tea. 28 days ago, I weighed 215.9 pounds. I stepped on the scale this morning and I weighed 211.9 pounds. That means that this month we lost 3.7 pounds total. You guys know my goal is to lose about six pounds per month. We're a little bit shy by like 1.3 pounds. There's probably a couple of reasons for that. A, this was mainly like a strength building, toning kind of program. So maybe, hopefully we gain some muscle. Uh, the more likely one, however, <laughs> is you guys know that diet is a large part of weight loss and the success of any type of program in general. In the first two weeks of this challenge, I was on point with everything. Every single day I was tracking. And then the third week of this month kind of threw me off. The officially unofficial 5k was that week and I did a 5k every week. For some reason I was like, we're exercising a ton. We can eat a little bit more. That was like in conjunction with not tracking. I didn't do terrible, but I didn't do great. And then like Halloween happened and for whatever reason I'm like it's a celebration even though I did literally nothing it started with a fun size payday and then it was like 17 fun size paydays later I was like 
today was not a good day. <laughs> uh, so we got a little bit off track in our diet and that's probably why we saw the stall in the weight loss. So regardless, let's get into the measurements and the pictures. Getting straight into the measurements. As you can see, not much change. Biggest change coming from my belly area, which is expected because that's where I carry most of my weight. Um, not much change in the extremities. Slight change in the butt and thigh region. The fattest part of my belly is just hanging on there strong, but that's okay. We're slowly chiseling it off. Okay, cool beans. We're getting into some side-by-side -side pictures. Just real quickly, I want to point out that the lighting was a bit harsher in this picture, so the shadows are way more exaggerated, it looks like. That may just be the lighting difference, because this one looks way more, like, defined. Hopefully, I am building some little baby muscles underneath that fat, but, like, I also don't want it to be deceiving. I really need to figure out the lighting situation and figure out how to keep it consistent, because it bothers the hell out of me. I know you guys don't care, but I don't know. I care. <laughs> okay, the side view. I can see a little bit of a difference, like right here. Um, like this roll isn't as deep, I guess. I don't know. And maybe these cheeks are shaping up just a little bit. Okay, and the back view, the thing that we've been working on the most, the booty region. Um, I am noticing a difference. Again, like the harsh lighting really is kind of throwing me off. My back looks more defined in this one. This middle part where my spine goes is a little bit more pronounced. Maybe we're looking a little bit more snatched here. Maybe the booty's looking a little bit more juicy. I did really enjoy this program. I would highly recommend it. I do think the exercises were really good. However, I don't think that my execution of them were like flawless. It's kind of funny because like I felt more confident in my form and stuff week one compared to week four, but that's just because of ignorance, like most things. You know, I thought week one, I was like, I'm doing this right. And then by week four, I kind of realized like, yeah, maybe I'm not doing this right. Squats are hard for me. Um, my knees kind of suck. They're little baby garbage fires, so they're not the greatest. As far as like soreness goes, I was super sore the first week. That's also a reason why I thought I was doing everything correctly, except for like, you know, like that's probably just because I was new to the entire exercise. But the soreness definitely subsided after week one. Like I started to notice some inconsistencies. <laughs> like one butt cheek would be sore and the other was not at all. I was like, okay, I am doing something wrong. Like I'm only flexing one butt cheek at the top of the motion. I definitely don't have that mind muscle connection yet. As the weeks went on, I realized how much of a novice I am and how much I still have to learn. Like I was 100% prepared going into this to be full on Beyonce status at the end of this. You know, like, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. However, that did not quite happen in a month. We're a little more toned. We're a little more lifted but Rome was not built in a day. I really did enjoy this program and all of Chloe Ting's stuff's gonna be linked in the description. But anyways guys thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the struggle you're always welcome to subscribe and hit that notification bell and yeah I'll see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>